let me say a few words about uh, Friends of IHES. So uh, our uh, organization was created in uh, 1999 and uh, our mission of course is to uh, increase the visibility of the IHES in the uh, US and uh, coordinate a network of uh, former current visiting uh, scholars and of course, to uh, raise funds for the IHES for all of these uh, very important reasons to support uh, fundamental science. And uh, all of our contributions are important, uh, large, small, they all, they all have an essential role to play. I know that uh, founders of the organization are here, uh, Bernard Santona, our uh, first president, uh, many of our uh, board members and the earlier board members are here. Thanks to all of you for uh, founding and for your many contributions to making this organization as, as successful as it has been. And uh, thanks to all of you. So uh, let me now turn to uh, the uh, current director of IHES since uh, 2013, uh, Emmanuel Olmo. Uh, could you tell us something more about uh, the IHES and its uh, science and uh, what challenges uh, do you face at the moment? So thanks a lot, uh, Mike, and thanks a lot, all of you, for the kind words I heard. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed the, the film that, as I did. Uh, we are more than 88 people uh, attending uh, this uh, video, so it's a very good uh, uh, thing for us. So as you probably understood, uh, the Institute's mission is to provide an ideal environment for scientists to do their research, but also to connect and share their ideas. In that regard, the pandemic has affected us quite a bit because the interactions and informal conversations that are so appreciated by our scientists and which regularly led to new ideas and collaborations have been very compromised this year. Normally, the Institute receives annually about 20 to 200 invited researchers who are selected twice a year by our scientific council. The length of their visit varies between two weeks and two years, but the average is around two months. During their stay, they interact with our six permanent professors who are mathematicians and theoretical physicists all of exceptional level and recognized internationally. This year, of course, the number of visits has decreased and our scientists have had to be creative to keep collaborating with researchers from all across the world and maintain the quality of their partnerships. Seminars and conferences have become virtual and for the first time, our summer school was held online. One advantage is that it allowed more people to participate. We had about four times more registrations than when we hold the summer school at the Institute. But of course, it lacks the flavor of physical meeting and interactions. Still, although it's it's difficult to travel and therefore to see people in person. Our global network has proven stronger than ever this year. This event is a testimony in itself of the solidity of our relationships with our American partners. Let me take this opportunity to thank the friends of IHES and all of those who are watching near 90% I can see. Even if in this difficult context, our researchers have managed to stay very active and very connected with colleagues from the US and from across the world. And the scientific activity, although with a different pace and a different framework, is still very dynamic at IHS. The pandemic has certainly been a challenge. Apart from it, I would say that the main challenge for the Institute is to preserve and maintain its model long term in order to continue to attract the very best minds from all over the world. Speaking of attracting talents, promoting diversity, equity and inclusion in science is also one of our important goals 
And we would like the Institute to better reflect how diverse exceptional scientists can be. Those are crucial issues and the support, advice and help from our network, especially in the US, has also proven to be very precious in that regard. Thank you, Emmanuel. So uh, everyone, uh, that was very informative, but if you have uh, questions, uh, there's a, a Q&A button at the uh, bottom of your uh, screen and we'll try to uh, get to the, all of the questions at the end. So uh, we, I'd next like to uh, introduce uh, Slava Richkov, who is a prefer permanent professor at the IHES in physics since uh, 2017. So uh, Slava studied in Moscow. He uh, then obtained a PhD from Princeton and uh, held positions in the Netherlands, Italy, uh, here at Marie Curie University in Paris and uh, CERN, and uh, then returned to uh, Ecole Normale and uh, now IHES. And uh, possibly, and certainly, uh, I, I hope you agree, IHES is, is perhaps your natural home as uh, you started out in uh, mathematics. And uh, if one asks, how can one combine mathematics and physics at the highest level of both, I think uh, the IHES comes to mind as, as one of the very few places where one can do that. 